Hey guys, we are back here for another video and I want to jump in quickly to this particular story. We want to get into Love and Marriage Huntsville, um, this most recent episode. I want to say episode three and I believe they have it labeled as season eight and it's titled New Beefcakes on the Block. So specifically what I would like to get into is our girl destiny payton now there has been rumors swirling for some time with regards to destiny's relationship with martel now it looks like melody sheree gives us some insight into exactly who destiny is and what she feels about destiny and more so about the girl code um so i want to get more into that and exactly what melody said with regards to destiny and just how much she never ever trusted destiny but before we get into that guys let our intro play out and then we're gonna come back and discuss it <laughs> I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Now, before we jump into everything here, I do need to make sure you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you are subscribed, make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video or whenever I go live. So guys, we cannot forget the fallout between Destiny and Melody. But as a previous fan of the show, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of the show. I just don't like Love and Marriage Huntsville the way that I used to. But anywho, as I watched the show, I could never quite put my finger on the actual issue between Melody and and destiny the only thing that it seemed to be and again we don't see the entire episode we only see what the episode was actually edited into and what we saw and this is by destiny's own admission is that melody actually tried to help destiny and we know this because destiny admitted that melody did give her money and that she tried to help her out but what i didn't understand is definitely destiny became so bitter because she said melody talked about giving her money which is an absolute false um you know information because melody only mentioned that she gave destiny money when destiny tried to say or when she said that melody was not a good friend um so in mel trying to say well if i wasn't a good friend then why did i come to your aid when you had a disconnect notice on your door so i can understand how she was saying well listen if i was such a bad friend then how did i help you because obviously she had to make destiny remember that listen girl if i wasn't a friend where were your other friends when your stuff was getting disconnected so i totally understood where she was coming from but what i never understood was destiny's anger and bitterness toward mel and i want to make sure y'all understand i'm not the millimeter person or that group I'm not that. Um, I do like Melody, but I don't like to be associated with that particular group because I see a lot of angry, bitter people. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm this millimeter person and I'm just saying whatever because it's Melody. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this because this is what I believe and this is what I have saw on television. Now, Destiny did say that, hey, I'm mad at her because she pretty much didn't check on me but she never provided any proof but what melody has said and what she has always said is she disconnects from the cast when the show is over and i wouldn't blame her i wouldn't want to be hanging around people that i have to film with and consistently hanging around them all the time i would need to disconnect as well but I needed to bring that information up because now additional information has come out, which has led us to believe, and I know y'all already believed it, that Destiny and Martell actually may have 
did the old nasty. So y'all, let's get into exactly what Melody had to say. And if you guys recall, last week I did a video in which Martell said, hmm, is that my baby? Now, that was a little out of order, but why would Martell make a statement as to Destiny's son's paternity? That, that don't make her look good at all. Now, I know it was a bad joke, but why would he say that? Well, guys, let's get into why Melody may have felt the same way the entire time. Okay, guys, so in this particular sit down, you have Tisha, Kimmy, and Mel, and they're at some kind of a plant shop where they're, you know, making plants, and they get into, you know, basic conversation, and they're discussing, you know, what, you know, the what, what each other has done, um, you know, where you've been. Obviously, they're asking Mel about the revenge porn case, and she goes into exactly why she filed the charges on Mel. Then the conversation shifted because Mel asked the ladies, which is Kimmy and Tisha, why were they not there to support her um, when she was at Carlos King Live? And that is basically when things took what I would say a dramatic turn because Mel says something that I thought of, but I wasn't sure is if my thinking was correct. But I always felt that something had to happen between Destiny and Martell. But let's get into exactly what Mel said. Hey, it feels like the girl code was wrong. Like, wait, I'm sorry. Don't laugh. She's like, oh, girl. No, just because Kimmy said the girl code being broke, and I'm sitting over there thinking about Destiny and a girl code, and a, like, I'm sorry, but I'm like, girl, I should have been back. Is that your friend? Right. She was my friend, and. Did you say she slept with your man? Right. I don't know what Destiny does, because I ain't her friend. Well, you should know something about the person's character because it's like, I know, like, I would, girl, I would say something, I don't know what people do, and I don't put nothing past people. Okay, guys, so I did play that brief video snippet because I just wanted to refresh your memory. Now, in that episode, Mel chuckled a lot because when Kimmy brought up the girl code, Mel was like, girl, what girl code? Destiny don't follow no girl code. And then Kimmy goes, well, isn't that your friend? And Kimmy is trying to be smart because Kimmy, you know, Mel and Destiny ain't friends. And so Mel is like, she was, you know, like not now. And she's like, I don't trust her. So the fact that she said that after, you know, Kimmy said, well, sh she didn't sleep with your man. And Mel is like, I don't know what destiny does. Bam. That is a very strong indication because let me tell you something. I have unfriended and not been friends with a lot of people, but I cannot say any of those people did anything with the significant other that I was with. However, I did have one person and I flat out said it and years later, it was found to be true. Now, the fact of the matter that Mel feels uncomfortable with that situation about saying whether or not Destiny actually has something going on with Martell. So maybe I shouldn't have said Melody was uncomfortable, but what I should have said was Melody was not clear in terms of saying destiny did not she said i don't know what that girl would do i don't i don't know what she would do which is a strong indication so from everything that i've heard from martel and now hearing from melody i believe that they actually had a little fling think about it now that guy moses is coming out saying that him and destiny were messing around when he was married so destiny is not who she say she is honey because allegedly she sleeps with people husbands and 
more than likely had something going on with Martel Holt. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to enable your bell notification. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe.